All right, welcome in, everybody, as we get set to start game two here in Pool B. Pacelli didn't need to take any warm-ups here, and this one's starting a little bit earlier than we could have because Pacelli they got their warm-ups in before their last game. It's Pacelli and New Holstein. Again, my name is Caleb Jacoby. Glad to be here. Pacelli and New Holstein now live on Zaleski Sports. Again, Pacelli just beat Grafton two sets to nothing. Coming into this one again to go through kind of how this, this tournament works. You got four pools. Again, we'll be following pool B for this time. We'll be following the Pacelli Cardinals all day. And then once everybody plays each other, they'll be broken down into playoff brackets depending on their records. Um, so Pacelli, we just saw them beat Grafton. Now they'll play New Holstein. I believe if Pacelli wins that, they will go into... They, they would stay here, I believe, because... They'd be on the gold side if they were undefeated here in these games. Of course, if they lose, then it, then things would depend on how the new Holstein and Grafton game plays out. Again, a reminder, this is Auto Select, your pregame show sponsor for all Pacelli, all Stevens Point sports this season on Zaleski Sports. So, again, we'll have this game live at 9 a.m. Then we will, the next game we'll have live today will be at noon. The first round of the playoff bracket. Whoever Pacelli takes on in that matchup. Again, New Holstein, Pacelli's opponent here. Pacelli Cardinals, New Holstein Huskies. Huskies coached by Haley Jeffcoat. Pacelli, of course, coached by Roy Danforth. Pacelli coming off that 2-0 win again. In that second set, as we are underway, Ava Olds back to serve it for the Cardinals. That one passed over by Peyton Grenzer. And is that in? Yes, a kill for Kalen Yenter for the Cardinals. So Yenter with a kill. Cardinals go up 1-0 over the Huskies here. And Olds back to serve. And Pacelli, the visiting team in this one. Once again, Casey Vaughn gets up there for the kill for the Cardinals that time. Again, Vaughn had herself a great first match, but again, that's what we've come to expect out of Vaughn the last couple of seasons for this Cardinal volleyball team. Ava Olds with an excellent first set as well for this Cardinal team. Ilka, the setup again for Vaughn, and another one for Casey Vaughn. Her second kill of the set, and the Cardinals go up three to nothing. Olds back to serve once again. Olds in that first match had five aces and four kills. To her credit, that one into the net by Olds. Again, that's usually what happens when the announcer says something positive about a player. That's usually when uh, when something bad happens for that player. I think they call it the announcer's jinx. Uh, back to serve here for New Holzing is Natalie Kraus. That one blocked at the net. That's going to be oh, nearly a score for the Huskies. Somehow Reinke got over there to keep it in. The Huskies nearly had a score there. Ilka passes it over. Now setting it over there was Reese Kraus. Yenter, another kill for Kaylin Yenter. Yenter with the kill, her second of the match. Cardinals go up 4-1. to one. And it's the Huskies in their maroon and black uniforms. Of course, then the libero... Haley Coleman in the white and black. The red numbers. That point's going to go to Pacelli on the violation. And it's Ilka back to serve. And that's going to be an ace for Katie Ilka. And again, it was Katie Ilka's run serving in that first match that really brought the Cardinals back. They were down 19-11 to in the second set to Grafton. Came back and won at 27-25. Ilka too strong 
on the serve that time. Point goes to New Holstein. Six to two, Pacelli, and to serve here for the Huskies, Carly Tomey. Vaughn goes up with the left and scores it again. Casey Vaughn for Pacelli. He's got three of them here in the second set. And back to serve now for Pacelli is Emma Reinke. One dug out by Kraus. We got a whistle and I think a double hit. Call, violation on the Huskies. Point goes to Pacelli, eight to two. Reinke back to serve it. Dug out there by Kraus. Set over by Genzer and another double hit. Point for Pacelli once again. Nine to two Cardinals. But again, we've already seen today plenty of big leads get squashed. Just in the first match for Pacelli, we saw that. And that includes some of their leads that they had. That one's going to be too strong for Marineke. Score for the Huskies. But Pacelli lost a couple leads, wound up getting it back, of course. They won both sets. But we saw those first two sets against Grafton were big leads. Give up the lead, big lead, get up the lead, then big lead again. It was kind of a roller coaster ride those first couple of sets. But Pacelli won. And at that point's going to go to New Holstein. Violation on the Cardinals. Didn't see the exact call there, but violation nonetheless. Nine to four, Pacelli. Set up here, and that'll be a kill for Leah Fenske for the Cardinals. 10 to 4 Pacelli now. And back to serve for the Cardinals now is Casey Vaughn. Dug out there by Coleman. And that one hit into the net. Point Pacelli. 11 to 4. Here's score now again. Gonna do a little bit of. Research for the game on these teams. Again, we're going to see a lot of teams here today. There's 12 teams in this tournament, and that one, a little bit of miscommunication there for New Holstein. We'll give the ace to Casey Vaughn. Vaughn with the ace. Pacelli goes up 12 to 4. But again, Pacelli right now sits atop their conference, Central Wisconsin South, undefeated in conference play. For another 17 and 6 overall on the season, and we got a too many hits caller. A violation against New Holstein Point Pacelli, 13 to 4 timeout. Huskies will step aside and be back with more Olhafen Volleyball Invitational. Uh, tournament volleyball live on Zaleski Sports right after this. On Zaleski Sports. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good, and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at staubco.com. Welcome back, everybody. Pacelli leads New Holstein 13-4. And it is Pacelli's serve. Casey Vaughn back to serve it for the Cardinals. And there's another score for Pacelli. Make it 14-4, Cardinals. Vaughn to serve it again. Dug out there, passed over, and did it stay in? No, just out is the call. Kaya Yeager just about able to keep that one in. 
But the point will go to Pacelli, 15 to four. Vaughn on the serve. Dug out by Coleman. And here's the hit from Jaeger. That's McKenna Jaeger. Jaeger with it there, tapped over. No, into the net, point goes to the Cardinals. 16 to four, Pacelli. As again, Pacelli with a win in this would go into the, they'd call it the gold playoff bracket of this tournament. They'd be 2-0 and in their two games in pool play and violation on the Cardinals that time. Point goes to New Holstein. And back to serve now for the Huskies. Gracie Gulig. Gulig too strong and out. Point goes to the Cardinals. 17 to 5 now as the Cardinals with a commanding lead here in the first set. But again, I'll, I'll say it again. We, we saw a 19 to 11 lead disappear in the last set as Ella Van Order checks in for the Cardinals. First time Van Order has. Checked in here in this tournament. Reinke sets it up for Zedroik. And received here by the Huskies. Jaeger gets it over. Set up again for Zedroik. Jaeger hits it over and violation. Double hit. Called against the Huskies. Point Pacelli. 18-5. Milena Cashin back to serve for the Cardinals. And Cashin serves it into the net. Point goes to the Huskies. 18 to six, your score. Again, the next game we'll have, next match we'll have live will be at noon when the playoffs start. Playoff bracket starts. And Pacelli will have the next game off. And that's gonna be too strong on the serve. Point goes to Pacelli, 19 to six. And some, but Pacelli will have to stick around because how this tournament works, they have the the team who is off has to have a couple players or even a coach potentially be the line judges for the matches. So some Cardinals will be judging lines. And there's going to be a score and a kill for Ella Van Order. Ella Van Order gets in to the match for the Cardinals and scores it. Putting the Cardinals up 20 to six now. And that's gonna be out off the serve, I believe from Zadroik. And the score goes to the Huskies. 20 to seven now, your score. And right now, Pacelli more than alive for that gold bracket. And if they are in the gold bracket, they'll have a chance to win the entire tournament if they stay undefeated, and that's gonna be a, well, yep, yeah, it will be a kill for Ava Olds. That one went up into the scoreboard that time. Ava Olds with another kill. And Olds has had quite the day so far here for the Cardinals. And Ilka digs that one out. Vaughn goes for the kill, blocked at the net, and the score for New Holstein, a great block that time from Eliana Lemus. And the Huskies score their eighth on the block from Lemus. Or excuse me, wrong roster up. That was Carly Tomey with the block. I was still at my Grafton roster up from last game. Tomey with the block for the Huskies that time. 21 to eight, there's gonna be the score for Reinke for the Cardinals, Emma Reinke with the kill. Twenty-two to eight, Pacelli leads New Holstein here in the first set. Ilka back to serve, dug out. Passed over. Reinke sets it over, no, into the net. As, looks like Reinke may have been trying to set that over 
instead of setting it up for Fenske and just couldn't get it across. And it'll be a point for New Holstein. Back to serve is Carly Tomey for the Huskies. We've got to stop it to the referee at the scorer's table discussing something. Unclear as to what right now. Well, give us a chance to hear from our friends over at Hoff Favor Real Estate. Andy Hoff and Cindy LaChapelle of Hoff Favor Real Estate Group are your local Stevens Point realtors. Born and raised right here, you know whether you're buying or selling when it comes to realty in Stevens Point. You are covered. That's Andy Hoff and Cindy LaChapelle of Hoff Favor Real Estate. So we've got some kind of mix up here on the, at the scorer's table. Entirely sure what it is. Maybe the score clock isn't working properly. I don't know. But we'll see. Well, we've got. Well, while we while they figure that out, we'll continue hearing from some of our great sponsors here at Teleski Sports. Heartland Custom Homes is Central Wisconsin's premier home builder for 50 years. Heartland Custom Homes in Plover has kept their mission of building better living for you and your family. And come to Par 4 Bistro in Wapaka for a wonderful dining experience with a full menu of delicious options, perfect for date nights, family night out, or your next get-together. Come to Par 4 Bistro on Highway 54 in Wapaka. And whatever the problem was, seems to have been figured out. And told me to serve here. The setup here for Vaughn, a whistle, and double hit. Call down the Cardinals. 22 to 10, your score. Tommy to serve. And that point goes to Pacelli. Twenty-three to ten, Cardinals, as they are well on their way to taking this first set. But that serve is going to be too strong. Out. Point goes to New Holstein. That serve dug out by Ilka and into the net. That winds up an ace for Peyton Grenzer. Grenzer with the ace, and it's now twenty-three to twelve, Pacelli. That's too strong, out of play, out of bounds, and Pacelli gets the point. They go up 24 to 12 now. Back to service, Casey Vaughn for Pacelli. Set point for the Cardinals. Vaughn on the serve. The set over, back to Vaughn. Here's Reinke, sets it up for Fenske. And Fenske scores it. That's going to do it for the first set. Pacelli takes set number one, 25 to 12, over New Holstein. So Pacelli grabs the first set. We'll take a quick break. Be back with set number two after this on Zaleski Sports. Shuda Funeral Home in Stevens Point and Plover is your local, family-owned and operated funeral home providing families with compassionate, individualized, and affordable services when you need it most. The loss of a loved one is a difficult fact of life that Shuda Funeral Home will ensure you won't have to face alone. Shuda Funeral Home will guide you through the process from in-person visitations to creating obituaries and tributes. Pre-planning can also be a great way to ease these topics for your family. Learn more at ShudaFuneral.com or bring your questions and stop in. 
Save during the summer tire event at Sherrill Tire and Service Centers. Up to $150 back on a select set of four Goodyear tires. Buy online or mail-in rebate when you use the Goodyear credit card through June 30th at Sherrill Tire and Service Centers. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edom, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. If you're looking for delicious, you've found it at Rock and Roll Cafe in Stevens Point. This family-oriented 50s-themed cafe is open 7 to 3 daily with a great diverse menu of American and Mexican breakfast and lunch options. Enjoy dine-in or carry-out 7 days a week and always serve quickly, fresh, with a smile. For the full menu and more about this local Stevens Point gem on Stanley Street, visit rockandroll.cafe. And now, open on Saturday nights. Try the new Rock and Roll Cafe Bar and Grill on Church street. Customize your next apparel order with Meta Custom Apparel of Stevens Point. Visit us today for custom baseball and softball apparel. Need help with a design? We have you covered. Our highly skilled staff will turn your idea into a reality with great quality screen printing. Or choose from a variety of embroidery options today. Visit us at our physical store or online at madeacustom.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Oostburg High School, live at the Ole Hafen Volleyball Invitational. As the Pacelli Cardinals lead the new Holstein Huskies, one to nothing in the set count. Again, we play to two set. Two sets. Pacelli won the first set 25 to 12. Again, if Pacelli does take the second set as well and win this match, they would move on to the gold playoff bracket. And they would stay here on the same court as well. Well, it will depend a little bit. It'll depend a little bit on. Who wins what matches? And Van Order into the net. Van Order starts out there for the Cardinals this time. The Cardinals starting a couple of a couple of uh, different players here to start. This second set, Emilia Martini out there starting. Ella Van Order as well. Van Order and Martini. And the starting lineup here in the second set for the Cardinals. One to one your score. And that'll be a score for Pacelli. Two to one, Pacelli leads it over New Holstein here. Back to serve is Martini. Dug out there by Coleman. There's the setup for Danis. Pass over. Danis sets it up. And right back to Danis. Blocked at the net by Elevan Order. And Cardinals diving all over the place here. Olds, and that's another kill for Ava Olds. Olds having another nice match for the Cardinals. Three to one, Pacelli now. One hit over, too strong. Point goes to the Cardinals once again, four to one. Now Pacelli in the lead. So again, I. I'm going to double check this 
Now well, this playoff bracket is a line. Trying to understand what they're trying to say here. That was just typed out. Our next game may be at 1 p.m. and not noon. Pacelli might have two games off after this one. I'll get it squared away for you before this one ends. That's going to be a score for New Holstein. 5-2 to two Pacelli now. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Your early morning volleyball broadcast. First match started at 8 a.m. And that's going to be an ace right off the net. An ace for Carly Tomey. Tomey with the ace. Five to three. You're scoring out Pacelli. And we're going to say that one out. Who are they going to give the point to is the question. Point Pacelli. Six to three Cardinals. Back to serve is Olds. Dug out there by Kraus. Hit over by Jaeger, and the diving play by Vaughn. Unsuccessful, Natalie Kraus scores it for the Huskies. And back to serve now for the Huskies, Peyton Grenzer. And that's an ace for Peyton Grenzer. It's been a much better start here to the second set for the Huskies than they had in the first. So Grenz are back to serve it again. Down by one. Vaughn digs it out. Here's the setup for Van Order, and Grenzer's there. Set up Danis. No, we got a violation. And I don't know if violation was. Maybe you had a rotation. On... The Huskies, nonetheless, it'll be a point for the Cardinals. Seven to five, Pacelli. Ilka back to serve, and that one just out from Ilka. Point here for New Holstein. And back to serve for the Huskies, Addison and Halt. Ilka digs it out. 7 6 your score. And Hall, it's going to have to be passed over by Coleman. It is. Ilka. Reinke sets it up for Vaughn. And another kill for Casey Vaughn. Here in the second set. Pacelli up 8 to 6 now. Reinke goes back to serve for the Cardinals. And right off the net and in an ace for Emma Reinke. That one just grazes off the net for Reinke and the Cardinals that time. This is going to be another ace. Miss hit by Anhalt. And another ace for Emma Reinke. Reinke to serve again, and that will be another one for Reinke. Emma Reinke with three straight aces. And the Cardinals now lead it 11 to 6 here. Starting to pull away a little bit here in the second set. And Reinke into the net that time. Point goes to the Huskies. Eleven to seven, your score, and that's going to be another score for the Cardinals. Uh, couldn't tell who scored it, but twelve points nonetheless here for Pacelli. They're up twelve to seven. Serve there from Vaughn. Tapped over by Tomey and. 
Kept alive by the Cardinals. Vaughn over with it. Coleman. Tomey. Reinke now Vaughn passes it over. Tomey receives it. And tapped into the net, and point goes to Pacelli. Vaughn, that's dug out. Pass over here, Ilka, the setup. Nearly a score for Lydia Engebretson into the match for the first time. Point. Huskies there. Cardinals up 13-8 on the Huskies. Back to serve here for New Holstein. Is Addison Henskin. Martini dug out. Whistle. Point goes to Pacelli. 14-8, Pacelli in the lead now. Ilka checks out, Van Order checks in. Engebretson back to serve. That one just came off the hand a little wrong on the serve and goes out from Engebretson. Point for New Holstein. Back to serve here for the Huskies is Natalie Kraus. And Kraus will have herself an ace. Ace for Natalie Kraus. And now your score 14 to 10 here. And another one. That one off the hands of Olds for the second time. And back to back aces for Natalie Kraus. Kraus over towards Vaughn, that's gonna be out. Vaughn at the last second wisely decides to let it go and it does go out of bounds. 15 to 11, Pacelli now. Martini back to serve it. Here's Tomey, that's gonna be too strong, point Pacelli. 16 to 11, Cardinals. Martini, Tomey digs it out. Just sets it over. Vaughn with the kill. Casey Vaughn for the Cardinals once again. Puts the Cardinals up 17 to 11 now. Martini to serve it and too strong on the serve that time for Martini. And 17 to 12 now for the Cardinals. Back to serve is Tomey for the Huskies. Vaughn digs out the serve. Reinke sets it back for Olds, blocked at the net. Ilka over to Van Order. Dug out by Danis and score. For Pacelli. 18 to 12 Cardinals. Ava Olds on the serve. Set up here into the net from Danis that time. And another Cardinal point. 19 to 12. Cardinals lead it. Olds on the serve, dug out. There's the setup, no, just the pass over. Vaughn Reinke sets it over right. She found an open gap in the back left corner. And Emma Reinke scores it. Heady play there by Reinke, 20 to 12, Pacelli.
Olds digs it out. Set up for Vaughn and another kill for Casey Vaughn. Twenty-one to twelve. Pacelli in a timeout for New Holstein. And we will take a step aside in a timeout as well. We'll take a quick break. Be back with more Olhafen Invitational Volleyball after this on Zaleski Sports. Rocky, Rocky Rococo. My pizza. Pizza, hands out pizza. I love it. You'll love it too! Rocky Rococo! Whole pie or slices! Hot, thick, chewy, crunchy, saucy! Rocky Rococo! Pizza. Rocky Rococo! Welcome back, everybody. 21 to 12, Pacelli. We are back and underway. The Cardinals four points away from starting this tournament off. 2-0, but that time point's going to go to the Huskies. That one was hit into the net, like by maybe Ilka that time. And that was a really nice serve from Grenzer. But Pacelli receives it. The pass over Van Order is there. Reinke sets it over to Vaughn. Just the light set over, and Vaughn with the heady play to just lightly but over again, that shows Vaughn's instincts there on that front line to see the Husky going up to try to block it. Just wait a little bit and just set it right over the top. That's exactly what Vaughn did that time. Cash in there. Reinke sets it up for Olds and dug out by Kraus. And there's going to be a score for the Huskies. That time it was Kaya Yeager with the kill. Twenty-two to fourteen, Pacelli as it's the Husky serve. Dug out there by Ilka Reinke sets it back. Ilka will have to hit it over, and Ilka scores at the libero. Scores it for the Cardinals. Twenty three to fourteen, Pacelli. That one into the net. Point for the Cardinals once again. 24 to 14 now your score. And this is the set point and the match point for the Cardinals. Reinke back to serve it. Dug out there, pass over. Ilka is there. Reinke sets it over to Casey Vaughn into the net. And the point will go to the Huskies as they stay alive here in the second set. And back to serve Kaya Yeager for the Huskies. Dug out by Vaughn. Reinke sets it up for Vaughn and Casey Vaughn with the left-handed kill to seal it for the Cardinals. 25 to 15, they take the second set. They win this match against New Holstein. Two sets to none. Pacelli gets the win. Coming up next is your Nasonville Dairy postgame show. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Go to nasonvilledairy.com. We'll take a quick break. Hear from our friends over at Nasonville Dairy back after this on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, 
We ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, farmer's cheese, peach cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caseri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today, and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, farmer's cheese, peach cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caseri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Welcome back, everybody. It's your Nasonville Dairy post game show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. Go to nasonvilledairy.com. Pacelli takes down New Holstein. Two to nothing there in their second game. They're two and zero. So Pacelli wins, I guess you could say, the B pool, and they beat Grafton and New Holstein. So that means Pacelli will be playing on court three. For reviewers out there, what court they play doesn't matter to you. It matters for me. I'll have to move my broadcast equipment. But what it does matter is that Pacelli will play at noon. So Pacelli will play at 12 p.m. on court three. They will play the winner of pool C. And unsure of who that is at the time. I think they're still playing over there on court three for pool C. That'll be So they'll either play Sheboygan Falls, Bonduel, or Shoreland Lutheran. So either Sheboygan Falls, Shoreland Lutheran, or Bonduel will be Pacelli's opponent in what's called the gold semifinal. So that'll be at noon. If Pacelli wins that game, they will move on. Well, well, we'll get to that when we get there. We will we'll talk about that when we get there. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. This is a lot of moving parts here with the playoff bracket, but what I can tell you is that we will be live on Zaleski Sports at 12 p.m. noon here today with Pacelli Volleyball live playing either Sheboygan Falls, Bonduel, or Shoreland Lutheran. So we'll have that game for you. That's going to bring us to the end of our Nasonville Dairy postgame show. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Go to Nasonville Dairy. Com. That's going to bring us to the end of our Pacelli New Holstein broadcast. But again, stay tuned. We'll have more volleyball all day. We'll be following the Pacelli Cardinals all day long here at the at the Old Haven Volleyball Invitational. So don't go anywhere and come back and join us at noon for Pacelli against the winner of Pool C at noon on Court 3 live from Oostburg High School. And my name is Gail Chicobi. Thanks for joining us here on Zaleski Sports, and we will see you at 12 p.m. here today for more Pacelli Cardinal Volleyball.